There you go, y'all. There you go. I'm going to keep showing this shit, for, by the way. On Amazon and Audible. Check them out. Check, I mean, check this out. I put everything you need to know in this about rebound relationships. So anyway, let's jump into this video. Waste no more time. So, you know, um, going over a couple emails, trying to group it all in this one video. Pretty much the question always comes up, the why do my ex, after a breakup, try to destroy me? ruin me you know a lot of time people the off-brand ass people jump into the off-brand ass relationship trying to you know ruin you emotionally damage you you know make you act a fool and most people want to know why one they want a reaction at you they want that reaction they want to feel or see you cry break down crumble and all that stuff but watching these videos that's not going to really happen is it you know watching videos like this and similar to this you know it's not gonna happen you know you're not gonna break as long as you got god on your side you'll be okay as long as they keep making these videos or people like me make these videos and you pray stay prayed up you'll be okay how this how they said no weapon form against me that's the reason reason behind this bracelet it says that on the inside no weapon form against me should prosper so that's why I wear the bracelet for those of you that ask. So stay prayed up. That's the thing because they're looking for a reaction out of you. They want to see you crumble. They want to see you pretty much fail. Pretty much they want to see you done and ruined and nobody jumping in a relationship with you and you be successful. That's why they paint that little picture over there or doing the little vengeful, you know, little Oh man, I got to say the word. The little narcissistic acts and stuff like that. They're doing little narcissistic social pals and now they're running around doing stuff to get a reaction out of you. Why? Because they want the power. They want power. They, you know, it gives them power and it inflates their ego. Because these little social pals out here, well, narcissistic social pals running around here, they want power and control and dominance. And stuff like that they want to step on people to get it so they don't work that way you can't step on people to get power and stuff like that they want to feel like since you not with me you cannot be happy I'm the Sun in your universe you know everything that you doing is nothing if I'm not involved with it so that's how they think the other the reason why they try to destroy you after the fact is because they hurting too. They not gonna tell this part. They hurting too. Yeah. They secretly hurting too. And if you hurting and went while they're secretly hurting too in their little twisted, demented mind, they feel like we are suffering together. So therefore, by mentally, we still together. Because if I cause suffering and they're causing you pain, and you suffering from that. And I'm over here, even though I'm in a little off-brand ass relationship, appearing to be happy and appearing to the world that I'm living my best life. But behind closed doors, I'm suffering. I don't want to see you move on. So therefore, if I cause pain, chaos, and drama into your life, we suffer together. So, but the thing, like I said, like this, the ultimate power you can have in these type of situations is don't give a shit. Don't care. Remember, you don't care about what they think, what they do, or who they're doing with. Is they happy in that relationship? Who cares? That's their business. You know, is they moving on? Who cares? That's their business. Long as God wake you up in the morning, all your fingers and toes move and wiggle and all that stuff, you in your right mind, go create another life and keep growing. You can't stay this way forever. You have to keep going and keep growing. If not, you're going to stay stuck and, you know, your life going to just wither away. So the best thing to do, one, don't give a shit about what that person doing or who they're doing it with. If you have to cut off social media, because I know it's a, it's a lot of videos talking about what they're doing on the other side. Shit, even with my videos, sometimes I get caught up in that. Cut this shit off. You don't need to know that. What's the benefit of knowing that? Another thing you can do. Plan, plot, strategize, and focus on your life. Know what you want out of life. Write it out. 
Come up with a little, you know, your little cards and all that stuff like that. Write it out on that. Put it on your mirror and watch it every day, every day and work towards that. No matter what it is you're trying to achieve, write it out. Then go and achieve it. Remember, relationships is a small thing. Don't worry about what they're doing. They're going to go be, I know YouTube don't pump my videos when I say this. They're going to go be a hoe. Yeah, you thought I was going to say something different. Yeah, they're going to go be a hoe. You, two things I ain't never seen before. A UFO or a faithful hoe. I ain't never seen that shit. But you want who wants you. You don't want, goddamn, you don't chase after nobody who don't want you. You want who wants you. That's why a lot of people fear when it comes to the relationship shit. They want who they want, and that person they want don't want them. So don't do that. You want who wants you. Then also, when you want pick the people who want you, you be picky about it. Like, I don't want this person. No. You know, uh-uh. I know you want me, but I don't know. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. They got to meet some kind of qualification. You don't want everybody who wants you. But the thing is, remember, this is a choice, by, not by force. You don't, can't force nobody to be with you, so stop turn, turn some of this stuff off. You know, turn the internet off. Detox yourself. You know, go on a vacation. Pamper yourself. Show yourself that you love yourself. Get around some people who support you and love you. If you don't have that shit, love yourself. Pray to God daily. Talk to him daily. Tell him your problems and your situation and ask him for an answer. That's how you get through these stuff. Don't worry about some little off-brand ass person who's trying to destroy you. You know, that's some childish ass shit. You got to m- mature somewhere along the line, you know. So, that's not just the video. If you like to get in contact with me, just to have somebody to talk to and tell, tell me what's going on. My email is here, you know, you can text me on uh, WhatsApp, you know, or you look like, man, one, I don't want to text you nor call you, or uh, I don't want to email you nothing, but you can read this damn book, though. I know people don't read, that's why I'm working on audio book, but you can get this book that's on Amazon, and trust me, 20 years from now, when I can't make videos no more and stuff like that, you can always watch these videos, or when I'm... You can always reach out to me. I'll be here for you. Trust me. I understand how that shit feel. But with that being said, stay prayed up. Watch out for one another. Peace.